So it's not often that I get really excited about a lens when I receive one. Actually, that's not, that's not exactly true. I get quite excited about everything, but I received this lens before Christmas and I just completely didn't really give it any attention at all. I've kind of forgot, forgot it even came. And then this morning I was thinking, what happened to that lens that I was sent? And I got it out and I found it and suddenly realized exactly what it was. And I realized, look at it, it is gorgeous. I don't think I've liked a lens so much ever. Look at it. I mean, regardless of how it's gonna perform and as yet I have no idea how it's gonna perform, but look how beautiful it is. It's just lovely. Now this is the TT Artisan 23 millimeter 1.4 now firstly 23 mil come on i love 23 mil that is my favorite fujifilm lens is the 23 1.4 so when i realized what i had in my hand this morning i was so excited i decided i have to come out and make a video so what we're going to do is we're going to go for a walk um, i live in the south downs in england we're going to go for a walk through part of the south downs and just get some shots with this, manually focused, as wide open as I can. Um, it's quite a gray day, so it should be pretty easy to get wide open. And we'll just see how it performs. I mean, look, look, look. For under a hundred pounds, you can buy this. It's just to look at, it's worth a hundred quid. <laughs> So when you're using a, a lens like this, you've got no aperture really on the in the in the lens. So even though it says the aperture dials, you've got your you know 1.4 upwards. You don't actually get any aperture change. You just get kind of a light and a dark. And so what you have to do is you have to basically look at you, look into your camera and make sure your shutter speed is high enough to be able to um you know not be blurry handheld so i'm going to get this one to about 100 maybe 150 so i've gone up to an iso of 800 and then using the the manual focus ring you then just make sure you're you've got your focus in the right spot and obviously check keep an eye on your ev I mean, keep an eye yeah, on your exposure dial, and that just makes sure everything is is accurate. Um, it's a very simple way of of doing photography because you can, I mean, and it's a very pleasing way because actually you can see where you're focusing because of the white high high peaking. You make sure that your shutter speed is over a hundred, so you know it's not going to be not going to be blurry. And then it's a really fun way of just choosing exactly where you want the focus to be. And you just click away. I think it's a, just a beautiful way of doing, of doing photography. It's a very mindful way because you are choosing everything yourself. You're not relying on the camera to do anything for you. Oh yeah, there's something I wanted to tell you. Um, I have, you know how like on people's Patreons, they're generally, you know, as it's meant to be, it's about the creator and it's kind of like the buy me a coffee thing where you can, you know, you can pay a fiver a month. It just helps that creator on their journey and helps them with their, with their finances and keeping things going. Well, I decided recently that what I really wanted to do was to make my Patreon also about you and to really kind of give an opportunity back to the people who are on my Patreon to, you know, have their work looked at as well. And so, you know, Instagram and Facebook, etc., can be such a, a big place where you may or may not get noticed by anyone. And you just kind of, it feels like you're in a really big room full of loads of people, but not necessarily being seen by any of them. And so, I decided to kind of make my Patreon a bit more about you. So what I've done, I've created a private community on 
my level two and level three tiers. And in that place, what you can do is you can submit your photos um, to me, and then I then put them onto um, that page with your name, your details, and the details, your description about that image. And basically, the other people then have a chance to, you know, talk about your image and um, encourage you in that. It's an encouraging place. It's not a critical place. It's not a, a negative place. There'll be no negative comments. It's all about being encouraging and helping each other. So if that appeals to you and you want to come and give that a go for a month and see what it's like, come onto the Patreon, click below and be part of this community that I'm trying to build. I would love to have a really great community of people who just love photography and just want to, you know, have a safe environment to chat, talk about the photography, show their images and help each other grow. And, you know, I think it, it could be a really good place for that. So um, I'm trialing it out at the moment. So come on to it and let's see, see how it goes. Kodak Ektar, which is a film I absolutely recommend, one of my favorite films. Um, these, these kind of brown grasses here are really perfect because they actually lend themselves to the same color palette. It's all those lovely, you know, warm colors that are in the palette of the Ektar. Lovely uh, warm oranges and, you know, browns and almost reds you know it's got all that mixed into it and when i made the when i made the recipe you know i was really conscious to try and include those colors um and so it matches really well i'm just walking through all this lot <laughs> um okay so let's try and get some yellows here let's come through here so you've got these kind of um you see these things here, little bit, bits of yellow on these, these bushes. They're pretty sharp and spiky, but let's see if they, how they look. One-handed, I have to try and focus one-handedly as well. <laughs> it's not easy. Here we go. Let's see if this looks okay. Let's see, <laughs> it's not easy with the, um, try to focus it and take the shot in one hand, but I've just about got enough. There you go. So my verdict for this lens is it's by far the best manual focus lens I've ever shot with. And it looks more like the old Pentax, you know, the old, these great kind of vintage lenses. It's got that vintage feel to it. It's got that metal construction. It's got, I don't know, it just feels like a proper proper lens, not, you know, a cheap lens, um, even though it's only a hundred pounds to buy. Um, it's just got that, you know, that yesness about it. I don't know how to describe it. I just really love shooting with it. I think TT Artisan had done a wonderful job with this. Um, and yeah, I would say, if I was going to buy the Fujifilm 23 1.4 for a few hundred pounds, or I was going to buy this, if it was, wasn't for commercial, just for family stuff, I'd probably buy this because it's just such a lovely lens and it just has the characteristics, the atmosphere in it that I was looking for. You know, I consider this to be, um, you know, something that I would have instead of the, um, the other lens. Now, obviously I use the Fujifilm one for, um, commercial work so I would need autofocus for that but if I, if I didn't need it for that I tell you this would be a, a contender you know I'm not bothered with things like how sharp is it at the edge of the frame anyone who tells you that's an issue just don't believe it it's not an issue the issue is do you get the atmosphere in your picture do you enjoy that picture do you enjoy using that that, that lens do you enjoy the whole process. No one cares about the corners. You know, it's about the image. Do you enjoy that image? And if you enjoy looking at it, who cares what the edges are like? I'm not even, I'm not even kind of bothering to even look at that with this lens. I'm just thinking, well, it's easy to use. It's a found lens. And from what I can see on the um, images so far, they look 
really atmospheric. So yeah, thumbs up from me, absolutely. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just do consider my Patreon. Come and click on that and have a look. Um, I'd love to see you on there. Um, come on level two or level three and submit your pictures to me and I'll get them on um, for others to look at. And we can have our own kind of privately safe area, like our own little social media area. <laughs> there's, there's a nice place. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll see you there. Cheers.